Okay, hope we can we start now without wasting the time. So very good morning students. Very good morning to everyone. Have you all hear my voice? Good morning, ma'am. Yes, very good morning. Okay. So this is the first lectures and firstly I attach to EJSL. So very really good morning to everyone and welcome to this course of business club. Okay, so firstly, I really apologize why I fix the lectures today on Sunday, even the subject is assigned on Saturday and really sorry for that. I understand there are some Christian students are there in the batch, but quite sorry for that. Saturday I have an exam. So that's what I fixed this on Sunday. Now only I realize there are messages today. Some students are in the church and really apologize for the students. Huh? Okay, hope this is an introduction session. Uh, let's see, I will start the sessions, maybe two or two and a half hours, even which lectures is assigned for up to one. And I'm really sorry, I apologize. Just, just now only I realized there are some Christian students are behind the bench. I'm really sorry. Okay, so first introduce, I introduce myself. Okay, hope it's, if it is happening in the physical lectures, it may be enthusiastic and really we enjoy. However, no issue, even for the online lectures, we, if you are fit with that, then you will make maybe effective and attractive lectures. Okay, so you are the students for first year and semester two students. Am I right, guys? Am I right, guys? Am I right? Please engage with me. Huh? If it, that's what I say. If it is a physical lectures, you also can see well. Another thing is also today I try to be on my camera too. There's a technical issue. After two months only I log in here. So there are maybe the issues. So this next from next week onwards, I just settled that. And uh, other thing is, if am I right, student, the kind request, you have to be engaged with me during these lectures. Are you all agree with me? Whether what's the question, so whatever the issues as you feel, you have to stop me and engage with me. Then only we can be enjoy the subject. Are you all agree with me? Say at least yes or no. If you are making silent, then it's feel like I just sit in front of the computer and speak only myself. Have you all agreed to engage with me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. So this year one, semester two, business law is your one of the core subject assigned for three credits. So I am the visiting lecturer for this business law subject. I'm Ms. Ganeshan Tulasi, having the LLB honors folder in US and currently following the forensic medicine and master's in Kelam. As also, I am the attorney at law and commissioner of OS, and also former lecturer, temporary assistant lecturer of the Department of Law. Okay, so I introduce myself. Uh, I get it, you all, when it's fine, your name. So if I ask, then there are 100 and yes, 100 students are there. It may be take time. So it's okay. So while we are engaging the lecture, I find out your names and remember that. Okay, so regarding law, hope understand you all are the commerce stream students. I'm not sure as you are the first year student, whether you maybe follow some other courses or you may follow LLB in Open University or other private laws. Is there any students are there like that? Is there any students currently following law? Any students? Just for getting the knowledge. Any students? Okay, how I take this silence? So I take this, no, okay, so then fine. 
you are the common stream students no matter somehow i just understand even i have visited to faculty of uh, uh, commerce in jaffa university also there are some students having the trouble to understand the theory subject the reason is that you are the commerce stream student so you just logically you answer something so as it is a purely theory subject theory subject there that's for there are some student having the barriers of law subject so don't things like that it's just that we have the mentality of the student so law it's a theory subject even though but while you are enjoying that you can be easily book to get to know the knowledge so here the subject is business law so whatever it is it's a commercial law subject however we have to be first understand the basic introductions of law what is the law mean and you have to be know why it is needed for that then only we enter into the subject and why we study business law what are the elements of business law what are the syllabus we are going to be cover here all the thing we have to be understand on that okay so i just show the syllabus what we are going to be study under business law so as i tell earlier uh, guys have you seen the screen have you seen the screen that's mean i share the syllabus have you seen the screen yes, okay good so tell me uh, if they, i understand if you are a first year student sometime may have some language barriers or if i may be in fast or my language is in or confused so just stop me so you have a full freedom to ask me okay if i am fast tell me that madam can you teach slow bit okay sure that's the reason i tell you okay so as i understand the first year first year students somehow have some language barrier there are a lot of fluent students also there but i have to be maintain the class which you have all understand that ensure that okay so just stop me even i am fast so i go slowly for your kind request so it's a business law come Pin twenty three. That's your card number, and you are the first year, first semester student. Your subject is credited to three subject, and it's a core subject. Okay. So, what are the things we are going to be teach here, and you are aim to be intended to target to learn first introduction. Okay. So, introduction to the laws and legal system of Sri Lanka. Introduction to the law and legal system of Sri Lanka. so before that you know what is law what is the legal background of law what is the legal system is there in sri lanka what are the court system we follow what kind of powers every court has that what are the differentiations of law for what type of cases what are the courts we can we seek that all the things we study under the legal system in the first concept for that i just go with some example and explain that if i just read that and explain the contents you may be fed up the subject so that much we need to be study like that so i just give some examples and gonna engage into the subject okay first legal system things that should have sri lanka you know it's a multi ethical country there are a lot of culture people are there even we are following the provincial system there are a lot of provinces in sri lanka the people are some different there are singalese muslim tamils and the culture is different languages different everything has a deviation even you know that no in the one family even there are some kind of thoughts are different even we are the uh, sister brother there are some kind of engagement interesting are different so like that in a country the people having the different kind of thoughts idea so how as you are the in your family the sisters things that there are four uh, child in the family two brothers and two sisters so the parents has to be satisfy the student they have some satisfy the children because they have some kind of different kind of things different kind of understanding different kind of interesting like that in the state also the people are very different difference in some so many things so the state has to be enshrined the satisfied of the people the people has to be satisfied themselves they are live happily freely in the country as like in sri lanka there are different ethics people so sri lankan government 
has the control to satisfy the people. So how Sri Lankan government take the decision and take the organization system to satisfy these people by way of the constitution. So in the constitution, it's the aspirations of the people. Is that aspirations of the people? All people's aspirations should be reflected in the constitution. So in the constitution, having what is the legislation, what is executive, what is judiciary, all the things are there here. So you just for an example, so you may start to study in following uh, days of the lectures, things that uh, in as like in one street, in singular people ask for a unitary state and Tamil guys ask for a finish, ask for a someone finish, ask for a Ask for it. I all there. I all there. I'm audible to all guys. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, finish that then, my word. Single is ask for a unitary state. And Tamils go for it. That's interesting on the estate. Finish. Are you all following students? I just get some personal messages. It's quite fast. Is it so? Is it so, students? No matter. Just unmute and say that. Okay, I just have a friendly nature of these lectures. Am I quite fast? Yeah, okay. 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 I use a simple language. Okay. So if you have any some difficulties, just text students directly messages or so you unmute and tell me, no matter. Okay. So there are some differentiation. So single is asked something and Tamils ask something. So there is a deviation. So the government has to be satisfied this all. Even within the Tamils also, there are laws is different. And Japanese cultures, they ask for Tesavala law. And Tamils, they go for a Mukwar law. And single is, they go for a Kandian law. So, so there are some kinds of differentiations of law. So how these legal systems are there that in the introductions of law? Then we move law of contract. So under this commercial law part student, there are a lot of subjects. Even the trade law, shipping law, business law, banking law, intellectual property law, all the things are a commercial law. But we are specified here business law. So under this business law, law of contract is one of essential. So what is mean that contract? What kind of contract is valid? What kind of contract are enforceable under law? And how the contract are terminated? What are the terms of the contract? And the remedies of seller and buyer, all the things we study under law of contract. And the relationship of agency and partnership. So agency and partnership, especially we studies under the company's law. How this agency is created? How this authority is given? Who are the directors? What are the powers of the director? Who are the shareholders in the company? How the partnership is dissolved? What is this partnership is terminated? How, who is the partner get the authority to seek, uh, make the signature? or represent to the partnership. All the things we study under the law relating to agency and partnership. Thereafter, insurance law, if mostly under the insurance law, under the civil cases, if accident is made, that may be the lifetime insurance or vehicle insurance, how we can we claim the insurance from the insurance company and how we calculated the insurance money, all the things we study under the law of insurance. And for a company law, how we incorporated a company, types of company, shareholders, directors, and binding up, how when the company is insolvent, also things we study under the company law. And labor law in Sri Lanka, how EPF, it is calculated, what is ETF, what are the rights of the labor, what is the power of this labor tribunal, if this is 
government structure or institution where he can be climbed, what kind of remedy he can be asked, that's all things under study and the label. Then there's some goods or I'm sure that when you study other than the contract law and labor law, you may be in, so interested in sales of goods because under the business law, mostly the com commercial law stream students mostly like the sales of goods. So under the sales of goods, generally you know that in practical way, the seller and the buyer. Seller and the buyer. If you go for, if you go to the shop and you, if you buy something, you may order for 50 chairs to the seller. Now, seller transfer the 50 chairs. Now, within these 50 chairs, there are some chairs are defective. Or you may be asked some kind of brand, but the seller is delivered other kind of brand. The local product, then the material is something different. So, between the seller and the buyer, what are the rights the buyer can be claim against the seller? So if sometimes if the buyer does not pay the price for the seller, what kind of remedy the seller can be claim against the buyer? So what is condition they are here? What is warranty? How the property is transferred? What are the remedies under the seller and the buyer? All the things we study under the sales of goods act. Or oh, simply we can be called under the sales of goods, what are the things and rights we are studying under here. So mainly we are focused on server. So other than that, while we are while I'm explaining that we can be categorize the law for a purpose of business law, I engage and mostly focus on these seven concepts, and you will be get to know once the course is finished. You are able to be and should be understand what are the legal system is there in Sri Lanka and you can be able to be functions, uh, able to be got to know the functions and operations of the court system. What are the courts is there in Sri Lanka? What's the powers and function and what's the making decision made, made by the judges and the contract law understanding of how the contract is formed and what are the rights, powers of law of agency and companies and insurance principle, labor principle, all the things you should be know once the course is finished. So this end of the course, you can be able to be understand those. Another thing is my method of teaching. So usually it's not a physical lectures, it's my online lectures. So mostly we are go for a presentation. Some call, we go for a group discussion and some kind of tutorial engagement while I'm replacing the question and you may try to be answered one each and every question of this week. And other things, your assessment method, hope you may be received, maybe not, okay. So assessment method, maybe the written exams while I'm having in online or via quiz, the report submissions or something That's we see, that we see while we are go for a subject. So other thing, what I have to be tell here for a business law, uh, it's not so difficult subject. It's so easy subject. When it's easy, you will be engaged into the subject. So if you couldn't understand anything, anything, but even for a term, the term is something different, even for the legal term, legal vocabulary is something different for an English term. So generally we say for a uh, in general English for situation, but here for a law we use, it is a circumstance. So there are some terms are technically different. So if you are, could not be understand the term, just text me or just unmute and say, what is that madam? then I will be explained on that. So I expecting you all to engage in the class. Then only we can be make the effective lectures. Okay, student. Do you have any doubt on this syllabus? Any doubt on this syllabus? No, okay. Okay, then we go for a study of today. Okay. So the very first question, before we go for a business law, the very basic understanding of the subject, what is your understanding of law? What do you think that, what is law? Anyone? What do you think that, what is law? Only the three letters, L, A, W, law. What do you understand on that? My kind request, please engage with me. It's a basic thing. Just unmute and say, no matter whether it's right or wrong, even in a law also, there's nothing is there, right or law. 
right or wrong that's what lawyers are they are in the prosecution side as well as the defense right both side there are arguments so don't worry whether i am right or wrong just unmute and say it gives the confidence of your mm. good it's a set of rules mm. then then protocols i mean what we want to do yes good very good legally decision okay good a rule to control the people good yeah rather than the chatting i'm really expecting to hear your voice students just unmute and say that just unmute that it's kind request no matter the rule which are organizing human activities excellent good mm. any answer any answer the rules defining correct procedure or behavior yes good then set up rules control human activities and behavior yes good students you are correct okay so you have the basic understanding what is law you all have that so law before that the concept of law is coming to the world you know that the previous circumstances of the people so the person who is wealthy and healthy have controlled the society so the person who is wealthy and the health in the previous history he was a take control in the society they are only the people realize that it's arbitration it's a arbitration the people who is wealthy and healthy they be damage to the property to others damage to the reputations of others other people also have a right right to freedom right to freedom to talk right to expression all the rights are there but the people who have settled healthy plus wealthy have controlled the society so the people started to realize there are some control there are some control mechanism is needed to regulate the society therefore little by little the law started to engage in the society so what is law the answer as you said all you said and you all having some mind it's a rule or set of rules enforcement by the court regulating the government of a state and then the Relationship between organs of the government and the subject of the state, and the relationship or contact subject towards each other, a rule or body of rules made by the legislature. So, what you all said as an answer, the same answer you see. Those are the law. So, generally in the state, you know that student parliament is there. And so, the president is there, prime minister is there, judges are, courts are there. For what reasons all are there? to maintain the peaceful society to enshrine the happy and free life of the people so for that the law is needed for that the authority is needed so as a state whatever the state you may become by an international also take in sri lanka we have a legislature executive and the judiciary it is for the fixes are huh? in sri lanka that's the right board yes okay Have you seen the whiteboard? Have you seen the whiteboard, guys? Have you seen the whiteboard? Good. Okay, in Sri Lanka. So how the state is divided? Okay, generally, first executive. We say executive. Then legislature. Then. It's a judiciary. What is executive? The person who has a executive control over the people. Executive in Sri Lanka, the president is the executive body plus the parliament. Then we studied in the how the sovereignty is divided under Section C. All the things we study for the basic understanding. Executive who is uh, who has taking the executive posture. The president with the parliament, the prime minister and the ministers are the executive body in Sri Lanka. The legislation. What is legislature in Sri Lanka? Anyone? What is, what is the legislature in Sri Lanka? 
It's the legislature. Good. It's the parliament. The parliament making the law for a people. We are giving the authority to 225 peoples, which they are sitting in the parliament as a reflection of us. So they are making the law. So the law making body is a legislature. The law making body is a legislature. In Sri Lanka, the law making body is a parliament. In Sri Lanka, the law making body is a parliament. Ma'am, if you don't mind, can you explain slowly? Yes, sure, ma'am. Okay. Yes. I need this kind of comments. Okay, the lecture is for you. So you have to be controlled. What's the things you understand? What do you need? You want them. Okay, good. So the legislature in Sri Lanka, who is the body who is having the responsibility to making the law? You know that under the parliamentary election, under the parliamentary election, we just vote and select our representations. We select our MBs, the members of parliament are selected by us. So they are sitting in the parliament and they are the persons making the law in the parliament. The law making process in the parliament, generally you know that before the law is come, it's a paper document, it's called bill. B I double. It's called bill. So one of the member passed such bill in the parliament. When this bill become a law, tell me when this bill become a law, just for a general understanding. Some call the law, everyone knows that, not only for a LLB graduate, not only for a lawyer, even for a simple public, rather than the lawyers, they know the law well. When the bill becomes the law, Okay, don't know. It's a honest answer. <laughs> Good. Anyway, someone, anyone? When the bill becomes the law? Okay, when, if there is any document, get the authority basis. Things that, like a check. When the check is considered as a valid document. The core element, if a document gets the legal validity, the core element, as a core element. Oh, I think, sir, if it's a letter, letter, what is the main target? What's the core element of letter? How we enshrine that? This is the person, write this letter. How we ensure that? Signature, very good. It's a signature. Like that in the parliament also, one of the member of the parliament just fall down a bill. Then this bill engage into the debate. So before that, it's gasseted in the government notice or within the seven days now the reason amendment is 20 amendment within seven days the people has to be challenged the bill if the people thinks that if the bill come into force in sri lanka then definitely there are some harms to the general public if the people thinks like so you may have some experiences when port city bill is published in a desert port city bill the people think that definitely there is a harm or danger is occurred to the people. That's what people are petitioned to Supreme Court to challenge the bill. Please do not pass this bill. These are the barriers in this bill. Please stop this bill to pass as a law. Like that, the citizen can be challenged a bill. Okay, so when bill is introduced in the parliament, then the bill is gazetted in the newspaper. So within seven days, the citizens of Sri Lanka can be challenged such bill. If that bill is challenged, then Supreme Court take into the considerations of the petition and thinks that how this bill is come to the general public. If there is no challenges within seven days, then the bill comes to the parliament. In the parliament, they made a debate, first debate and the second debate, and they are coming to the conclusion, just corrected the words and the elements and what is the things they purpose to introduce in the bill. Once the bill is satisfied, first and second reading, then it goes to the speaker. The speaker is the person finally endorsed. This signature we call in a bill is endorsed. You may be studied it. You check also your other management students. So you study it's endorsed. Endorsed by the speaker. Once the speaker is endorsed such bill, such bill becomes the law. Once the speaker endorsed in a bill, such bill becomes the law. 
then no one in Sri Lanka cannot be challenged such law. This is the differentiation between Sri Lanka and other democratic countries. In other democratic countries, such as UK and USA, Switzerland, even Germany, when you see that even the parliament is passed the law, even such 10 or 11 years, even for the next day, the people can be challenged such law. This law is harm, definitely harm to the society. But in Sri Lanka, that is not the case. The citizen has a right to challenge such bill within only for a seven days. When the bill is gazetted in the government gazette only within that seven days, one week. Previously, before the 20th amendments, we can be challenged for 14 days. It has a two weeks, we can be challenged. But on the 20th amendment of Sri Lanka, only we have a seven days to challenge the bill. We think that within these seven days, there may be the Poya days, there may be the Sunday and Saturday, and there may be the public holiday. So whether these seven days, the general public can be got to know this kind of bill is passed and whether they have an opportunity to clarify how such bill is passed, but are the contents of the bill, what kind of barriers or what kind of calms will cause to the society, things that whether these seven days is sufficient to Sri Lankan citizen to study on the bill. It's a criticism. No, we does definitely even for lawyers also can understand that within seven days, what is the thing is there in the bill. Then how the gentle public, the reasonable, prudent man, how he can we understand what are the thing is there in the bill. So that is the criticism between this democratic state between the Sri Lanka, whether this seven days is sufficient for them. Once this bill is passed as a law, we can't be challenged there. Only we can be challenged when the matter it is in the stage of bill. Once the bill is get the endorsement or get the signature of the speaker of the parliament, then this bill becomes a law. When the bill becomes the law, the general public or any other person can't challenge the validity of a law. We have to be obey such law, whether it's arbitrary or not. Previous circumstances, we can be made such an amendment, make some amendments, but we can't be changed or obeyed or alter such law. It's a differentiation between the Sri Lankan and other democratic states. Okay, for a legislature in Sri Lanka, the parliament take a control. Parliament is the body making the law or creating the law. Understand, Sudan? Understand, Sudan? Do I need to be repeat that? Do I want to be repeat? Guys, do I want to be repeat? Just engage with me. Just say yes or no. That's why I'm hesitating this online lectures. Tell me yes or no. This clear. Okay, good. Then the other body is a judiciary. Judiciary. What do you think, sir? What do you mean that judiciary? Yeah, there are some students who want repeat. Okay, so which one want to be repeat for legislature? Which one want to be repeat for legislature? Is it legislature? Yes, okay. So legislature. So who can be explained? Just I give a chance to someone in the bench. Who can explain what I tell under legislature? Anyone? Anyone? We have to utilize this opportunity, students. Anyone? Who can be explained what I am explained under legislature? I give a chance to someone in the class. Who can? Just unmute and say. No one. <laughs> Just utilize this opportunity. Hope everyone understand what is there under legislature. There are only students asked, could not get that much. So we did that. So I give a chance to someone who is already there in the class and will understand. Anyone can explain what I am explaining under legislature? No one? No one.
Madhushaini Nandakumar, may I get the explanations from you? Madhushaini Nandakumar. Madhushaini Nandakumar can or can't? No matter, student. Tell me honestly whether if can tell me yes or no. No matter. Uh, I uh, don't know, ma'am. Uh, I uh, join just now. Uh, just now. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. Okay. So, legislation students, the, the student who asked this to repeat, understand that legislature in Sri Lanka, this legislature body we call parliament. So, what's, what is legislature? The body making the law or the body creating the law. That is called the legislature body. Okay, so the law body creating or making the law. So in Sri Lanka, which is the body to create or making the law? That is the parliament. So that's what we say. The legislature body in Sri Lanka is the parliament. Some other countries in UK we call Senate and contents. There are other, other different states call this legislature in different name. In Sri Lanka, we call the legislature is parliament. So parliament having the authority to making the law. Tell me that whether the president has the authority to make the law, whether the president has the authority to making the law, whether the president has the authority to making the law. No, but can okay. For an emergency circumstance, it means study under the separations of power. Okay. Under these emergency circumstances, the president can pass the law. You know that now during these COVID-19 circumstances, thing, things that the mask is essential for a public. So in that time, will you think that the time is possible to call these 225 members of the parliament in the parliament to making the law? To make that, to make the bill, to make that the mask is important to the general public. It's an immediate purpose. It's an emergency circumstances. So in that circumstances, the president take into play things that for a provincial restriction, traveling ban is necessary for continuously for two days. So who can, whether it's possible to call for a 225 people in the parliament. So that time for emergency circumstances, president takes some authority in his hand to making the law for the emergency purposes. Okay, so it is that power is very, very limited because the lawmaking power is given to the parliament, but for maintain to control the separations and the check and balance concept is needed. You may be got to know the later what is check and balance separations of power. Things that if one authority is go beyond that power, other authority control the body. Now, this legislature, if we give the lawmaking power fully to the legislature, then its body may be get arbitrary. So, other organs of the government has to be control the other organ. So, that is check and balance. Check and balance. So, here, in the sense, meantime, we have to be understand that not only for a legislature, there are some emergency circumstances, even for an executive, can pass the law. Okay. So, under this legislature, as I said already, when the law bill becomes the law, once it gets endorsement or signature of the Speaker of the Parliament, when the bill is introduced, thereafter, it published to the Gazette of Sri Lanka. Then, within seven days, the general public can be able to be challenged such bill or contents of such bill to prevent the bill becomes law. If no general public is challenged, then automatically after seven days, the bill comes into the parliament. In the parliament, they make a first debate and second debate. And first and second debate is it, it gets the majority support in the parliament. Then it's go for a table of a speaker. Then speaker endorse such bill. Once the time the speaker is endorse such bill, the bill becomes law. Then even if there are some danger is there in the bill, the no general public or no citizen cannot be able to be challenged or questioned such bill. Got it, guys. Got it, guys. So who the persons asked will repeat, understand that. 
Understand? Yes, okay. Ma'am, can you write full name of these features of Sri Lankan law? Yeah, we will study later. Right? It's a legislature. I just draw uh, as a diagram for just for basic things now. It's all the thing is there in the slide. No matter. Okay. So, legislature, LDS, GIST, Juari, legislature. No matter how the things are there in the slide. When the lecture is finished, I uploaded in LMS. You can access that. Okay. So, get. But I'm explaining here. Then judiciary. Judiciary, what are the, but what's the body you may think in your mind? What may be the judiciary in Sri Lanka? If you heard executive, then your mind is clear. Yes, it's a president with ministers. If the word you click legislature, then your mind is come and got to know that is a parliament. If it is a judiciary, then what, what do your mind is think? If it's a judiciary, very good. It's a court. It's a court. Tell me what are the courts you know in Sri Lanka. Tell me what are the courts is there in Sri Lanka. It's only the basic class student. The first class, I just try to be give the impression and just make some kind of affection in the subject of law. That's what I just go deeply and give some examples to explain on that. I can just go with the slide, no matter. But why I do that, you have to be engaged in the subject. The first impression should be the best impression. So you, the law you love in the first day, it gives some kind of enthusiastic to study the law. So that's what I engage law. Tell me, what are the courts you know in Sri Lanka? What are the courts are there in Sri Lanka? Very good. Supreme Court. Hmm. District Court, High Court, Court of Appeal. Hmm. There, very good. Appeal Court, okay, good. Magistrate Court, good. Any other courts? Any other courts? Good, you know well. Yeah, good. Almost you give all the answers. So the very instance of the court student, the very first court, the law will have, yes, family court. Mostly the magistrate act as a family court. Okay. So the basic primary court. Yes, good. You are right. Okay. So basic fundamental first court in Sri Lanka in a hierarchy, it's the superior court. That is a supreme court of Sri Lanka. You all may know that. Supreme Court in the Halstra, in front of law college, the Supreme Court is there. Supreme Court is the higher post in Sri Lanka. So the decision of a Supreme Court, we can't be challenged anywhere in Sri Lanka. Even we does not be satisfy the court in the decisions of a magistrate, we can we go for a high court. Even we does not be satisfy the judgment of a high court, we can we go for a Supreme Court. So once we get the judgment in the Supreme Court, we can't be challenged anywhere. That's the reason we say Supreme Court is a superior body or superior jurisdiction in Sri Lanka. That is the one and only superior court in Sri Lanka. We can't be challenged the decision of a superior court. Okay, that's an appellate high jurisdiction court. So in the hierarchy, in the lower level, it's a magistrate court. They are after the district court. When we studied this, all the things by diagram, when we started to study the court system, that is one of your concerns in your syllabus. Just like give the understanding and make some interesting in the law. Okay. So no matter whether I definitely show the diagram, how the instances of court, just I explain the first introduction things. All the things you will be get from your handout and tubes. Okay. So they are after district court, high court. Court of Appeal, and there are some other things is there, commercial high court. Okay, the purpose of the courts are something different. Purpose of the courts are something different. So I just tell the example firstly. There is an accident matter. Okay, things that the motor traffic accident. Who uh, A just driving in his car in the public road. Okay, negligently, mistakenly, negligently or mistakenly, he knocked the pedestrian in a road. A is the person driving the car in a road. Okay. Now, he negligently or mistakenly by way of sleepy mood, he just knocked down a pedestrian. Now, the pedestrian got injured, severe injured. He has like abrasions and injury in the head and the hand. Uh, leg in, in the body parts, he just suffered injury. Now, whether which kind of court has a jurisdiction to hear these cases? Tell me, it's a general, you are ordinary people, so you are engaged in the society. Tell me, which kind of court have the jurisdiction to handle this issue? 
which court whether it's a supreme court or whether it's a court of appeal whether it's a district court which court generally you may come across on the motor traffic you think that even you does not be wear a helmet which court you can be charged hmm? which court no matter whether you are right or wrong if you tell the answer only you make clear yourself good magistrate court it's a magistrate court usually for this accident matter for a simple crime you can firstly go for a magistrate court so in a magistrate court the magistrate order to give the compensation to the car driver to the person who suffered the injury okay even if you wear a helmet even if you does not be wear your driving license or a insurance or any other things if you are did as a crime then the magistrate have the jurisdiction to hear such kind of crimes that known as a offenses the magistrate have court having the jurisdiction then i tell another example now you and your neighbors okay you and your neighbors thinks that your neighbors home and your homes are in the adjoining land it's a nearest land thinks that your home and your neighbors home it's a adjoining land nearest homes you your homes your land and your neighbors land there's a one fence between you both have a small dispute of 2 feet of land only for 2 feet of land i just draw as a picture huh? this is your land this is that a slab still i not be go for your syllabus of business law just i give the understanding of law then only you knows that how we come to the business law okay without understanding is that you may be fed up the subject that's what i give some interest in okay this is a slab this is b slab okay so they both have some conflict or fight with 3 feet of land a told that this 3 feet is belonging to me b told that no 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 this 3 feet is belonging to b me so they have some conflict with these 3 portion 3 feet portions of the land tell me where they can be go where they can be go for settlement yes this thing called why very good why why you can we say now that now we the magistrate court this thing called why it is that it is a civil matter under the law there are two categories of thing criminal matter and the civil matter criminal matter and the civil matter what is the criminal matter if you harm someone your activity is definitely goes harm to someone for an example tell me if you know what are the criminal matters you know that what are the criminal things you know that you may be thinks that if kind this if these kind of incidents are happen those are under criminal so like that what kind of incidents you think those are the criminal criminal matters tell me what kind of incidents you think sir yes criminal crime yeah very good murder <laughs> okay the high level of offenses good murder killing someone okay the same meaning murder and killing someone okay but maybe the criminal things you know that definitely that is a criminal not in a civil what are the things Every that means hope. Every means hope. I think it's a theft. Yes, theft. Very good. Rape, kidnap. Good. Steal others' goods. Yes. If you are without the consent of other person, if you are steal other goods, good. Blangery. Yes, good. Attack someone. Yes, assault. Attack someone. Assault. Good. Cheating. Excellent. Very good. You all have much knowledge rather than me. Okay, those are the matters. Are the criminal cases? Okay, those are the matters. Are the criminal matters? So most this high nature of these offences here, like these civil cases. See that student. The problem is there between A and B. For a three pieces of land, the problem is there for A and B. Therefore, A filed the case. A filed the case against B. That's what we call the case law. A versus B. You have to read this case law. Like that, I tell how we cite the case law. A versus B. Okay, A versus B. A filed the case against B. 
If B for the case, I can say we tried B versus A. Okay, so for a civil nature of the cases, civil nature of the cases, B file this client and answer like that. Civil nature of the cases. It's problem between the general individual, two individual, two individual things that now while A running in a road, while A running in a road, B is the person. While A running in a road, B is the person step by knife to A and he die finally. He just step A. He kill A. He murder A. He just step by using the knife and make severe injury to A. For that reason, for that step wound, A is finally die. Tell me, in this case, who can be enjoyed? Who have the rights to file the case against B? Who has a right to file the case against B? No, A is dead. Tell me that whether A come then alive and file the case against B. Who can file the case against B? B, step or murder A. He is die. He is dead. Who can be file the case against B? Police, A's family members. Okay, the simple answer, not A, A B's family members. The state is involved. The state means the state council or the officers of the police. They take into the considerations of the state. All answer, it satisfies the word of state. Okay, the police, even the state council, you mean, cannot be a differentiate the state council and private council. No matter, it's a state. Why it is it that the state, the government is involved in the crime? Things that the gravity of the crime. Here, it's a civil dispute. Only me, myself and the neighbor has a problem of three feet of land. It's a problem between the two individuals. It's a problem between the two individuals. Between me, myself and my neighbor. But here, the problem is a severe nature. If a problem is a severe nature, here, the thing does not be involved there. If I need a remedy, if I need a remedy, I can go for a court and I file the case against a B. That's a civil remedy. Here, state does not be involved. State does not, does not be support anyone. It's a civil one. Two individual. A is a one individual and B is a one individual. Individual has to be themselves settle the issue. But under this crime, B, making severe harm, he is die finally. It's definitely threatened to the society. It's definitely threatened to the society. Whether this fight between A and B threatened to the society? Tell me the answer. Whether fight between A and B for this three feet of land threatened to the society? Tell me whether it is threatened to the society. No, actually, it's a two individual matter. Only we are surrounded people looking there, but what will happen there? There is only the problem between these two individuals. There is no such threat in the society. But here, it's a murder. It's threatened to the society. If the state does not come here and take action against the person who is an offender, thinks that then murder is, is a, as a general offense in the society. We can't be combined on this. Simple, small dispute in civil and the major dispute in the criminal case. Things that it's a life of a person, but here it's only the three feet of land. So it's between these two individuals. So the nature and the gravity of the offenses is high here. Therefore, the state is involved. Then the state filed the case against a B for a charge of murder. For a charge of murder. Okay, so tell me in Sri Lanka, what are the offences? We can we get the death penalty in Sri Lanka? What are the offences in Sri Lanka? We can we receive as a punishment of death penalty. What are the offences? Murder, very good. For a murder, if we kill someone, definitely the state of a death penalty has. Hmm. Any other offense? Any? Any other offenses? Guys, I am audible to everyone. Just please unmute. It's my hind request. Tell me, are you following my lectures? I may make interesting in the lectures. 
Tell me honestly, yeah? just unmute and tell. Just unmute and tell. Tell students, are you all following the lectures? Are you all feel interesting in the lectures? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay, sure. Then only you enjoy students without loving the subject, without loving the method of explanation, method of teaching, definitely we know the subject. I know I am also come from your positions now as a student. If we does not be love the subject, even the subject is well, but if the lecturer is doesn't teach well and explain well, definitely be bored. So that's what I'm inside myself, whether I'm making some interesting in the subject. That's what I ask. If it is not, I can change the method of teaching. Okay, good. Very good. Okay. So, what are the offenses? So we go for a question, sir. Where are we stop? Oh, what are the offenses in Sri Lanka? We receive the death penalty. One answer is murder. Okay, very good. Other answer is rape. Whether rape, we can we get the death penalty for a rape? The answer is no. Okay, for a rape in Sri Lanka, no. We doesn't get the death penalty. For a rape, we get the higher imprisonment of 20 years. We can be, the court can we go up to 20 years of rigorous imprisonment, not for a death penalty. But by raping a girl, if the girl is dying, by raping a girl, if a girl is dying, then we can be get the death penalty. You know the cases have case happened in Vidya's case, which is happened in Japna. With the murder case, with the Ashri is a girl in Jackna. It's a gang rape. Can you all come across the fact? And for these seven poor peoples, Vilanjalian sir and the bench, it gave the judgments of death penalty. Have you all know the fact, student? Have you all know the fact? Yeah. Yes. Is it so? Yes. There are a lot of rape cases. If by raping, if a girl is die, then we can we get the death penalty. Oh, what are the, are any other offenses? Just search. Uh, if you need interesting, just search. What about the drug deal, ma'am? Very good. Drugs. Drugs. Now it's a severe, dangerous thing is a drug. Okay. Drugs in the sense, not for a ganja or some other thing. There are a lot of varieties of drugs. Is there not for a heroin? I think the recently, I think in the one week we were also, the contents of this uh, heroin is changed there. Before that, point, uh, 2.3 or 2.5, if we have in our position, definitely we can we get the death penalty. For a heroin. Okay. Now, recently, you know that now these days, this drug business are very, very the dangerous issues in Sri Lanka. Therefore, they change such kind of punishments in Sri Lanka. Recently, within these two or three days, the contents of this heroin is changed that. Okay. Yes, exactly. For a drug kneeling, they have a death pen a penalty of death. Good. Then, what may be other offenses? Gently, you all may know that these things. Don't rely on your subject or just for your, not for advice, just if you wish, you can reconsider that. Okay, so if you are rely on your subject only, it's like a bloom of book. Okay, so just consider some kind of interest things, what you make, it's make come some kind of changes in your life. Just try to be get some kind of interesting things. Okay, activities of underworld. Yeah, good. That's called in Sri Lanka. It's a food. Okay. If you are doing some activity against the state, then can. Okay. Then other thing is, you may not be get that. So other thing is that by way of a false evidence, if you know that the evidence you give in a court, that's a false evidence. But even though you know that is a false evidence, but by way of your evidence, if any innocent is punished by the court, by of a death penalty, then once it's got to know that by way of your false evidence only, the person is get the punishments of death penalty, then you also get the same punishment. That is there in Sri Lanka. Okay. So when you are giving the evidence, you have a take in oath in the court. 
whatever i say in the court that is purely true other than the truth i did i doesn't say any lies in the court before you tell the evidence in the court you take a oath by way of your constitution to sri lanka that's a mother document you say as a oath i doesn't say any lies in the court if you know that is lies why the lies one of innocent life is penalized by this death penalty once it's got to know in the future definitely you are the witness also charged under the death penalty okay consider that while you are giving the evidences in the court so for that there are some other offenses just church has said there are three offenses is there in sri lanka we can be get the death penalty it's for your searching just find out and tell me in the next class okay for other question here death penalty is in sri yes death penalty is enforceable in sri lanka whether in current scenario whether the government gave this death gave the death sentences whether it is utilized that tell me whether it is utilized that the judge is right as a sentence of death penalty the person commit the offense of murder it is proved in this conest court beyond the reasonable doubt beyond the reasonable doubt this criminal case should be proved that so judge right as a judgment beyond the reasonable doubt hereby i confirm that b is the person kill a beyond the reasonable doubt should be proved that if some element is missed we can't be charged b things that student the criminal cases that's what is evidence is very 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 needed if a kill by b don't know only c is the person c is there at the time things are in 8:30 the a is the person like unconscious with the blood and with a severe wound in the head he is lies in the floor no c is the person far away from uh, things that uh, 200 meter while b doesn't know this he is the person maybe hide in a uh, small jungle or somewhere else he is the person just cross this land and he with his hand have a knife the knife with the blood he just having in his hand c is the person show b at the time of 9 o'clock b is the person goes to this road with a knife in the knife also there is a blood no c is the person tell in the court yes i know in this particular road at 9 o'clock i show this is the person b go with a knife with the blood if she tell us an evidence things that there yeah, is need to be convert person prove b is the person maybe does not we know he at the time he maybe he may be the fisherman he cut the fish or he cut the uh, chicken or some other thing he just come with knife with the blood for other reason not for the murder of c but so not for a murder of a but c is the person shows that at the time the similar circumstances b bearing the knife with the blood in his hand therefore he confirm himself b is the person kill a but actually that is not the truth b is a fisherman he come at the time by cutting the fish things that if the court of law doesn't think that if the court of law doesn't prove that if they are punished that b for a death penalty thinks the life of b so that's what for a criminal case the lawyers and the judges have to be consider whether this crime is proved beyond the reasonable doubt there is no there is even for 0.1 percentage doubt cannot be arise in the mind of the judges whether b is the person committed this offense of murder against say there is no 0.1 percentage of doubt cannot be come to the doubt of judges of the mind they have to be 100 percent true because see the punishment the punishments also to be is a murder death penalty so we can't be punish a innocent person we have to be punish actually for an offender so the judges has to be confirm 100 person b is the person should commit the offense of this murder okay that is student have you all got my point have you all got my point have you all got my point i am boring have you all need a break i am boring tell me honestly yeah if you are boring or if you feel i'm uncomfortable if you need just two or three minutes break then i just give a break two or three minutes and just continue 
Okay, so I also feel that can't be seated continuously for two or three hours. So just two or one minutes break, then we just continue. It's interesting. Yeah, 30. Okay, so with your interesting, I just continue. So that is for a civil cases. Sorry, criminal cases. If you come for a civil cases student, no need. That 100 persons of proof, no need. Here, we call this proof man balance of probabilities. Balance of probabilities. What is balance of probability? Ma'am, we have some language problem. Yeah, I understand that. As you are the first year student, it's a general thing, huh? Even you no know, other persons are lecturers so or whatever the things, a good position. For the first years, everyone has suffered this problem. Everyone has suffered this problem. Language barrier is inevitable for a first year. Okay, we can be simply overcome that. How we can we simply overcome that? We need to be steady. We need to be listen. Even we doesn't understand the word, we just stop the lecture and ask that. What is the word miss? I could not be get that. So how I can we tell this? In other words, tell me if I say circumstances, if you couldn't understand that, then you maybe ask that. Madam, can we say any other words for circumstances? What's the meaning of this? I can be say as a simple word. Okay, so don't worry. Language barrier is inevitable for a first year student. It's a general thing for a first year student. I understand much well. Okay, because I am also as they are in the same position. So even you does understand, just take as frankly, then I maybe explain very simple language. Okay, good. Okay, for a civil case, we say it's a balance of probabilities. You don't think that the term I use, that are all the things we will study in later by concept by concept. So all words, letters and the things you will be here in the handout and this presentation slide. No, I'm just explaining. So right to be get the understanding, the basement of law. Then only you will be understand what is the business law and purpose and other elements of business law. So that's what I make it clear and my way of interesting. Okay. Here, the balance of probabilities. What's balance of probability? Now, court thinks that, judge thinks that 75 percentage, there is a justice is there in the sight of B. And only for a 30 percentage, the justice is there on the sight of B. So, judge come to the conclusion, yes, the three feet of land is belonging to A because of 75 percentage of a truth. Okay, here we can't we expect the 100 persons of runner. The 100 person should be needed under the criminal law. Okay, the beyond the reasonable doubt, the 100 person fruit should be needed under this criminal law circumstances. For a civil cases, balance of probability. Which one is high? Which side is the truth is high? A side, 75 percentage truth is there. B side, only 30 percentage truth is here. So, which side the truth is high? The percentage is high is which side? Therefore, the judge go for a judgment in favor of A. That's the differentiation of civil cases and criminal cases. Got it, student? Got it, students? I may clear you all. Yes, ma'am. I may clear you all. Yes, ma'am. Good. Yes, Very good. Okay. Okay. There are some ones are joined after search right. Okay. For that students, I'm really sorry for that student. I could not be things that today is a Sunday. For the reasons to yesterday, I have an exam. That's what I fixed this Saturday substitution lecture Sunday. But I couldn't think that there are some Christian students. I'm really, really obliged yes, that uh, I can't be restrict your rights. No, on Sunday, usually we can't be do that. But I did that. I'm sorry. Here in after, I didn't do that. Okay. There. So, hope you all understand the civil and criminal nature. So, for under judiciary, you know, the court having the hierarchy, having the authority to control the judiciary. Okay. So, some circumstances student, the judges are giving the verdict. Verdict. And this judgment, we call in legal term, verdict. We are D-I-C-T. Verdict. Judgment. So, these kind of verdicts or a judgment or a sentence may be the law become in the future time. Things that the problem is come into the court. The problem is come into the court. I just say one case law factor. The case is not Sepala Ekanayaka. The case is called Sepala Ekanayaka. What happened in Sepala Ekanayaka case? Sepala Ekanayaka and his wife and the 
sons are residing in Italy. Okay, in Italy, Italy government at the time does not be allowed Sepala to Italy. But Sepala's wife and the sons are has a residence in Italy. Only Sepala is reside in India. So what Sepala do there? He has to be get their wife and son from Italy to India. Oh, he, he is a native of Sri Lanka. So whatever the word India or Sri Lanka. No, what he did that he demanded the Italian government. Italian government does not be allowed to come Sepala to Italy and that's not be sent out their wife and son to their native country. For that, Sepala, what they did that they he hijacked the flight. You know that what you mean that hijack. Okay, hijack the flight, just kidnapping a flight with the passengers, hijacking a flight. Then with 330 passengers in the flight, then keep demand that I have a bomb and I will make explosive in the flight. So make sure that you have to send my son and my wife to my native country. So Italian government, after the request and struggle, they send their wife and the son to Sri Lanka. Then Italian government tried to be punished this Sepala for a, um, this airplane hijack, flight hijack. In Italy, Sri Lankan embassy is inconvenient, inconvenient that and take the Sepala Ekanaika into Sri Lanka. So Italian government made a pressure. He is the person in our country made the offense of hijacking a flight with a passenger. So what do you do there? It's a crime. So you have to be punished the Sepala Ekanaika in your country. So Italy made a request to Sepala Ekanaika in Sri Lanka. At the time in Sri Lanka, there is an issue in Sri Lankan penal court. I just show that later. In Sri Lankan penal court. Penal court is a book or document which describing the punishment for offense of murder. How many terms of imprisonment you can? Oh, what is the punishment? For a theft, what is the punishment? How amount of compensation you can be given? Like that, the punishment is scheduled in the penal court. Okay, the punishment is scheduled in the penal court. Now, the offense is there. Italian government requested to punish Shepala Ekanaike. The offense, flight hijacked, kidnapping the flight. Now, Sri Lankan government search what is the punishment is there in Sri Lanka for a commission of offense of hijacking a flight. At the time in Sri Lanka, there is no such offense. That is the very first offense Sri Lanka come across that. Previous time, there is no such hijacking. Even they doesn't hurt the word as well. That is the first offense. They know that hijacking also one of the crime. They does not be have the law. If it is a theft or if it is a murder in penal court, they distort the punishment. This is the punishment. But for a hijacking, they does not be see that is as an offense in their penal court, in their country legal system. What Sri Lankan government tell to Italy, Italy, Italy sees that Sepala Ekanaika made a crime in your country. But we does not be recognized that that is a crime in Sri Lanka. So apart from this law, we can't be punished the Sepala Ekanaika. Sri Lankan government says that. Okay, then Italy government made a several request. If you does not be punish the person, definitely with other countries, we will be imposed the economic restriction, economic ban. Definitely we will not be support. We just close our economic against you. We does not be export or import anything to you. You should be punished there. After several pressure, Sri Lanka enact the law for the punishments of hijacking and punish the person, say, Pale Okay, so at the time, even there is no such law, there is no such punishment. If the judges, if the judiciary gave the sentence or a judgment, thereafter it will be becomes the law. So no judiciary making the law. It's that it's a new problem. New problem is arises. But Sri Lanka, before that, there is no such law it is there to handle that. That is the very first time. They see that is an offense. So the judiciary, the judges are very first time giving the judgment. Hearing after, in future, like flight hijacking is offered. The punishment is this, but we give for Sepala Ekanaik. Okay, so the judges also somehow for a new problems, they are making the law. Got this student.
Got the students. I'm clear for you all. Yes, miss. Good. Okay, we just move for a slide. So why I'm explaining this all students? Again and again, I told that you need to be get the basic understanding. If I go directly, I am I explaining what is company, what is company laws in Sri Lanka, what are the rights? And if I tell anything, you just not be you just paralyzed and confused. What is there? So if I'm explaining what is the civil nature, what is the criminal nature, what are the things you should share you, what are the executive do, then it's very easy when we go with the subject, you understand well. Okay. Okay, go for a slide then. Okay. So now we move on to the subject. The laws of Sri Lanka. In Sri Lanka, generally in the world, there are two systems of law. They are guys. Okay. One is civil law system. In the whole world, two system. It's civil law system. Other one is common law system. Apart from the civil law and common law, there are two legal systems also. Religious legal system and mixed legal system. Religious legal system and mixed legal system. Okay. So mixed legal system in the sense, the countries are following civil plus common. Generally two no civil law system. One, second one is common law legal system. Mixed legal system means there are some countries following both civil plus common legal system. So one of the country for this mixed legal system, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka not only following for a civil legal system, not only following for a common law legal system, it's follow, see, not for following the civil legal system, not for following for a common law legal system, Sri Lanka following the both. That's why Sri Lanka is a mixed legal system. Other one is religious legal system. There are some countries purely believe the religious. No, that no Saudi Arabia. Qatar, even though there are some other parties attached to the statutory, but they are giving the priority, privileges to the religious, Israel um, and uh, uh, Saudi, uh, Saudi Arabia and Iraq, they are purely a religious state. Okay, so there are religious legal system countries also there. So generally, you've got to know for this first this slide, two legal system, civil and common. Apart from these two, there are religious legal system and mixed legal system. Sri Lanka is a country following the mixed legal system in line with civil law and common law. Okay. Then, the differentiations of civil law and common law. What are the differentiations of these both two major legal systems? The civil law is inspired by Roman law. Where the civil law is come from the Roman law. Where this common law is come, the developed by the judges through the decisions of the court. Whatever the words or whatever the judgments come from the judges, it's a common law. That's where the judges' sentences, judges' judgment, judges' verdicts, all are the same. Huh? Sentences, judgment, verdicts, we call in the legal term. All are come as a thoughts of a judges. By way of these thoughts of the judges and the decisions, common law are developed. For the English law jurisdictions countries, generally for the UK and USA, or follow the common law legal system rather than the Roman law because Roman law is very old, but it has some kind of cultural basis. Okay, Roman law has some cultural basis. For Sri Lanka, from the Roman law, Dutch law is evolved. In Sri Lanka, from Roman law, the Roman Dutch law is evolved. I tell why this Roman Dutch law having this kind of good sense because as you know, the um, there are some countries rather than this fluency of common law legal system, some countries are following the Roman Dutch law. What is that? There are some obligations. Okay. Tell me guys whether you have obligation to look after your parents. Whether you have an obligation to look after your parents. If look does not be look after your parents, whether the state can be imposed any punishment to you, then whether it is your obligation, whether it's your obligation, whether you should be do that. Yeah, just I say, if you need to be drive in a bike in a road, you should be wear a helmet. Without the helmet, if you're driving 
in a bike by bike in a road the police definitely make a charge against you then you should be make a, a fine in a court see that in the society you does not be take care of your parents you does not be give any food you does not be give any clothes to your parents whether state can impose any punishments against you hmm? against you yes or no this this engage with me no matter whether it's right or wrong if you say yes then if i tell the answer then you may get clarity yes you may be remember i say this a question for no no i get why it is no why i am right why i am wrong you may get clarity in yourself that's why i say just open your mouth whether it's right or wrong whatever the subject student just take some kind of advice whatever the subject even you does not be know the things know the concept just try to be do that try to be give some answer that makes you confident that makes you definitely confident and you make clear yourself okay tell me in sri lanka whether you impose any punishment for not to look after your parents hmm? yes yes okay sri lanka can under the elders act you can be punished them you have a responsibility that's what i say roman dutch law having some obligation it's impose some obligation you have to do something so you have to be do that thing such kind of obligation in other questions i ask that someone is having death in a road you just go in your things that you just go from your home to your university so you just find that in a road there is a person is dying so the person is just floor in a road you just see that the person is dying there is no such soul to the person who is dying no one is there but you notice that but you does not be informed to the police you think that yourself why i need this job if i tell like this i may be face some problem so for that you just ignore that and you go your work you just go for university you does not be informed to the police but you see that there is a person having death in a road but you does not be informed that for does not be informed to the police whether you impose any punishment tell me that whether you punishment no yes can no because it's omission call as omission in criminal law you mean no it's omission no you does not be have any obligation but as a generally if you do that student if you saw something you have to be informed to the nearest police station or the gram niladari in the particular village or you whatever the uh, positions of a person you have to be notice no to the particular issues but generally there is no such punishment for that okay so for that the civil law we say it's follow the roman dash law jurisdiction it's give some kind of obligations because it's understand the aspiration and culture of the people is aspiration and the culture of the people for the civil law i tell one things are for just making interesting in the subject there is a love affairs between a and b okay just for your interesting wait ah uh, uh, is this slide the uh... Okay, I clear this drawing, ah. Huh? Okay, so there is a pair in A and B. Things that are uh, it started maybe in your batch. Okay, it started from A and B from first years in the university life. There is a love story between A and B. Okay, now the love is started from first years to uh, things that your degree is four years, four years. After these four years. During the university, they make a good affairs of love. After these four years, A is the person told to be, "I can't be marry you." So between these years, there may be the several chats. Okay, I like I like you or something. Or they have several chats and they have several journey. But after four years completions of degree, A said to B, "No, I can't be marry because my parent does not be allowed to marry." Okay, I have another proposal or something. A refused to marry B, but for this continuous four years journey, B trusts A. He will be definitely marry me. No, A is the person make cheating to B. Whether we can comply or get remedy in the court of law? Tell me. Whether we can we get any remedy for this? Hmm? 
whether we can we get remedy in the court if we go for a court whether the judges can be compel or can we give the sentence to a a you having a love affair for 4 years for you should be marry b like that whether the judges can be said whether can be said hmm? can be forced a can't can't why but they have a four years relationship things that things that the girl and boy come from the a level then it's maybe the level not 12 years of relationship if they love from all level then things that if they break off after this uh, uh, getting the graduation things that's a long journey whether the court can push a no can as you answer but we can be get the remedy of compensation remedy of compensation <laughs> why it is that we whether a may be spend lot of money in for a saturday and sunday they may be go for outing they may be the the boy may be spend for a petrol uh, price and they may be buy some gifts expensive gifts rings and some other thing for this expenditure we can we get the compensation give my money like that that's what i say if you have any affairs take has as a validity of a bill okay but the bill of buy petrol and for some kind of gifts if by way of the bill if a challenge take my expenditure it can be possible but court can compel a to marry me okay so that kind of things you can be see under roman and dutch law why this roman dutch law is very sensitive it's very close to the people they understand the aspirations of the people we can't be compel a because he has a full potential right to decide who is his life partner the court cannot be compel a you have a relationship for a long time so you should be married can't compel because he is that is his concern that is his personal life okay so this roman dutch law has sensitive so no obligations to the people okay guys so this roman dutch law come from the roman law that roman law is the development of the civil law but these kind of things you can be see under this common law common law it's come in purely from the judges verdicts of the jurors okay some other things also it doesn't be needed fully i just give for a low base man but it's not be needed you just understand what is civil law and common law differentiation then i just say religious legal system what is religious legal system the religious law refers to the notion of a religious system or document being used as a legal resource so the main kind of religious law are sharia in islam halal in judaism and canon law in some christian group so there are some christian group and there are christian group they are following some kind of religious base then the mixed law legal system as i said earlier sri lanka also is one of the mixed law legal system apart from sri lanka south africa luzania and israel also are the mixed legal system then sri lanka purely i put that it's follow civil law and common law both then the case law kambal versus ka this is how we write we cite the cases ha huh? versus kambal the first party versus dot call the second party when these cases decided in 1774 and the citation where you can be see the report of the cases that what we just cited why i bring campbell versus call to tell from the colonial situations to nowadays in sri lanka up to 1978 you know that during this colonial state of sri lanka these uh, two portuguese and dutch and british are ruled down in sri lanka so in that circumstances in the british period only we just evolved this executive legislature and the judiciary system so the landmark case at the time the campbell versus call why the campbell versus call is a landmark case when the british when the british capture the sri lanka when the british captures the sri lanka at the time british does not be introduced their laws to sri lanka before british capture captures to sri lanka sri lanka already following some laws because sri lanka already under the colonial rule of dutch and portuguese so that the time the british does not be give their law they just permit sri lankan people we doesn't introduce any law you just follow your own rules 
So that is the first case when Campbell versus Call says that in the very first instance, colonial state in Sri Lanka, British in the first time under the Campbell versus Call decided that they allow Sri Lankan people, what's their laws are they are in Sri Lanka already. They are after only, once the British comes only, the commercial law is started to evolve. That is the point is necessary for a business law subject now. Okay, once the British came only, they find out that there are a lot of valuable resources in Sri Lanka and they are bring the workers from UK to Sri Lanka. So in the time, they need that law is essential for import and export activity. For that, they introduce the law, introduce the business thing, introduce the business activities and banking concept. Everything is evolved from the British. So the Campbell versus Call is a landmark case. Very first time the British allows the law, what is there in Sri Lanka already. Then not leave from the Campbell versus Call. They started just for a factor. Why were you trading? You involved that. But I'm explaining that. So from the Campbell versus Colony, the British is started to introduce their law. Then also, then only the Sri Lanka get the development under the business community, business law, trade law, shipping law, contract law, intellectual property law, banking law. All the things are evolved from the times of British. So why why we are enjoying the law? Commercial circumstances. No, it's a terms. World. In the commercial world, the reason for Sri Lanka, the British introduced the law. No, we are following the company side, intellectual property side, contract act, all the things we just copy it from UK. No one in Sri Lanka does not be write these acts. It's copy, same it is what is there in the UK. You just see, even there are some acts, just see some kind of word correction. Before that, I just show that, sir. Was that okay? Okay, I just show some kind of acts. Huh? <clears throat> okay, have you all seen the company's act in your screen? Oh, it started loading. Have you all seen guys in your screen? I just show some acts, uh, which is you should be know there. What is there for under the law? There are some acts. Have you all seen? Is it visible? No, not yet. Cop no cap. Cop no cap. Is it so? Please confirm, guys. Have you seen now? No, ma'am. Still not now? Not yet. Okay, now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, okay. See that. This is a company act of Sri Lanka that we studied. Uh, it is needed when we study. I think it's a third company slow. Under this company slow, we need to be studying this act. See that company said partly. This is how the acts are there. Acts and ordinance and enactments, we call in legal term in Sri Lanka. This is how these acts are there. See, Parliament of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. This is our state name. Parliament enacted that. Company said, what is the name of that? Company said, number 7 of 2007. When it's enacted, 2007. The act number 7. Okay. And see that Doctor, sometime, I know, I have some experiences. The commerce uh, uh, team students, just see the sections and these years. They just fed up. You need to be remember this all the thing. Okay, no need that. It's very, very, very easy. If you are engaged in a subject, clearly you love. Okay, company said. See that company said the context. What is company? What is the terms of a company? How we incorporated a company? Who are the uh, members in the company? What we choose the company's name? What is the restrictions of name? What is public notice? And what is the functions of a company? Who is the shareholder? Who is the director? What kind of directors are 
binding up, how these companies, uh, insolvent circumstances, what they have to be do, all the things are there. The companies these all section this known as section section 39 we call section 39 subsection 1 okay it's a short the summary of the section before you read this full section you can we get the idea from the side note. okay from the side note here it's elaboration okay like that we read the sections and understand them so subsections and all things see that these companies are as the same reproductions of UK whatever the laws is they are in Act in UK, the same act, same concern you can be see in Sri Lanka. By the reasons is that this commercial nature, commercial development is introduced by the British in Sri Lanka. That's why the commercial ordinance, commercial acts have the same copy of UK. Okay, so the same section you can be see in the UK act, there are some similar wording only change, sections only change, number of the sections only change. But Contents are the same. Okay, so this is Sri Lanka. We just have the same copy of what we have in UK. Then, just share some matter for your knowledge. Then, do you ever see our constitutions of Sri Lanka? Do you all see our constitutions of Sri Lanka? Anyone? Constitutions of Sri Lanka? Anyone previously sees or come across the constitutions of Sri Lanka? No. Okay. Have you all seen the constitutions here? Have you all seen the constitutions here? Is it visible? Not yet, ma'am. Yeah. Copious, no. Am I right? Yes. Okay, good. See that. The constitution. Where is the oh, yeah. the constitutions of democratic socialist republic of Sri Lanka? It's a constitution of Sri Lanka. It's a mother document. We have to be obey and respect our mother constitution, that is the Second Republic Constitution of Sri Lanka. Okay, it's a mother document and it's a superior law in Sri Lanka. If the question is asked, what is the superior law in Sri Lanka? That is the constitution of Sri Lanka. That is a superior law in our country, the constitutions of Sri Lanka. As you generally know, the constitutions now until 2020 has. 90 amendments. Am I right? Has 90 amendments until now. Am I right? Am I right, guys? Until 2022, we have 90 amendments in the constitution. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right or wrong? Are you all following me? Are you all following me, guys? Are you all following me? Just unmute and say, am I right? Sri Lanka 2022, we have 90th amendment in Sri Lanka. Am I right? Am I right? See that that's the things I need in your class. Really, I'm hesitated to online lectures, but we are engaging that we need to be gone. The lecturers and the students have to be engaged. Am I right? Am I right? How many amendments we have in Sri Lanka? Still in 2022. Hmm? Am I audible, guys? I am I audible? His response at least yes or no. Good. Okay. Yes. To the, to, under 2022, we have 20 amendments. 20, 20 amendments are there. So the constitution every day is updated. If some kind of amendments is come, it should be updated. That's what we say as amended up to 29. Until 29, 2022, it's introduced 20 amendments. So it's include 20 amendments as well. This is the constitution of Sri Lanka. See the very first sentence. It's a mother document, sir. It should be your question. It's a mother document. See, 
This is an unofficial edited edited by the Bills of the Language of Service of Department of Parliament Sri Lanka. It is a text of Constitutions of Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka as amended by Parliament from the time to time up to 20th Amendment to the Constitution. So it still has 20th Amendment. The footnotes and below the text indicate the particular amendment to the constitution. So there is a below document carrying after only you have to see the text and the text, the context. What is the state, unitary, sovereignty, slide that comb, what is the national anthem, national languages, what is the national day, who is the president of Sri Lanka, what is his power, what is the functions of parliament, who are the members of parliament, what is the privileges of members of the parliament, what's the right of Sri Lanka, and what's the rights of president. Uh, but the president can be exercised and how he can be utilized the function, what's their salary, all the things are emphasized in the constitution of Sri Lanka. So in the constitution of Sri Lanka, no need to be study the whole thing. I just show what are the things is there in the law for you to study. Okay, so we, for a legal system, I just go with the section. What is the thing is needed for that? Everything we does not be study here. We can't be, you are not be the law students. Even for a five years laws, we can't be teach for a one subject of business law. What is there? But there are some concept is needed. If the sovereignty, legislation, function, you should be known. In your syllabus are there here. So before that, we know what is constitution. What are the things are there in the constitution? What kind of section? What are the sections? is essential for you, sir. Okay. And other things, criminal procedure, evidence, there are a lot of things. This is there here. Back to the slide. There, I already explained the public and private law. The public law, tell me what is public law? If some kind of incident or the issues are affected the general public or the state or society as a whole, that's a public law. If some kind of incidents or issues are affected the general public or the state or society as a whole, it's known as the public law. Public law is a very wide scope. So law doesn't mean that student, only the word law. It's a have a full of story. The law is divided. It's a very deep sheet. We need to find that under law, there are a public law, private law, and the commercial law. No, you are there in a track of commercial law. So the public law is a very wider part. In the public law, generally, it's for the general public. It's a private law. It's affect the individual as a whole. Okay, so just see the deviation. There's nothing is there here. We need to be go for a commercial law. So example of public law, administrative law. In office, administrative law is essential. Then constitutions law. Then criminal law, municipal law, international law, or other public law. Private law, the contract law. See that? Contract law, one of the syllabus here. Contract law, law of dealing, property law, succession law, family law are a private law. Okay, just tell an example. Huh? If you are go your neighbor's home, that time the neighbor dog is by you. Your neighbor is knows that the neighbor dog is very dangerous. Okay, now who is that A? A, call his friend B. A has a pet of dog. A knows that his dog, how it is dangerous. If someone, stranger person, is comes to A's house, definitely A's dog bite that person who is enter in their house. Now, A will know what is the nature of his dog. Now, A tell to B, come at 5.30 to my home to collect the notes. So, what's the alert A has to be do that? A knows that. I already told 530 B will come to my home. At the time, if I put my dog in outside without cage, definitely my dog bites B. He has a knowledge that. Things that A forget that. His dog is there in the outside without lock or without cage. He is there in the outside. Now, at the same time, simultaneously, B also enter into the house. The dog looked the stage of person B and it's made bite. Things that what kind of remedies you can be getting? What kind of law is this? That is the law delay. It's called tort law. Okay, someone has some negligently do that. For that negligence activity, we study law of delay, law of tort. I think that there are defamation. What is defamation? A is the person makes some defame the character. 
B is a well reputed politician. A did that. Just publish a wrong bad notice against the character of B. B is asking the corruption. B is not good. B is families like B like this. B has this kind, this kind of vice. B has some similar uh, illegal relationship with others like that. He defamed the character of B. So B has to be get the compensation for a defamation cases. For this defamation, we study D. Okay, the contract law, we know. If you go for a shop and you buy a pen, the contract between seller and buyer. If you ask for an atlas pen, then this seller give a chuti pen. The mercantile quality is different. The sample is different. You are the goods is not with the satisfied buyer. So what kind of remedy? What are the conditions? What's the warranties? All the things they are in the contract. We study everything in deeper by the seller. Then property law, that's a in civil law, then succession and payment. Then commercial law. In the commercial things, business law, intellectual property law, trade law, anyone having the idea of intellectual property law? Don't think that up. Don't think you maybe have some uh, mentality to know that only the business law we study. In this business law, we need to be study this intellectual property law, rate law, shipping law, company law, investment law, interest law, even in banking law as well. Because business law is a wide apart, not only for a business in the sense itself. It's for a lot of commercial area the business law is contents. We can't be categorized. This is business law. That's why I bring all the laws here. Each and every law has an elements of business law. Business law is a wider part. So that's why I bring all the things to them. So now if you got to know only when you realize this concept, you know that where we come there in a particular place. Okay. What is intellectual property law? Anyone having the idea of intellectual property law? Intellectual property law, that's also one of kind of business law, part of business law. In intellectual property law. Okay, now things that are, now this is a handout for AGSS students, business law, I just share this handout. One of your best in this class, what you did there, you just put your names. Why, where, where, why, just show that. Huh? Ah, here, I just put my designation. One of the students did that, just cut this designation and put their name. And they are just marketing that. They think that they just sell that this business law notes is there. So per notes sell 1000 rupees. So it's like a business purposes. Tell that for preparing these notes, I use my intellectual capacity. I'm studying law for these years. I work on that. I put my hard work to make and prepare this note. Please, you know, that is my purely my intellectual. So if someone is theft, theft doesn't mean only steal the property. Theft doesn't mean only steal the property. Even stealing the intellectual idea of other persons also is a theft. That is intellectual property law. No, this notes purely comes from my intellectual capacity. No one use, no one use marketing. No one use benefit by using my intellectual capacity. If other person utilize that by the permissions of me, then it can be. But by fraudulently, if someone utilize my intellectual capacity, definitely it's a theft. Okay, so for that, I can be get the compensation under the commercial high. So that is intellectual property law. That's also the study and the business. Then rate law, how the business from export and import, how it's happened. Then shipping law and the shipping law, general things. One seller ship the goods in the sea and in the middle part of the sea, if something by way of disaster or by the negligence of the ship owner or the masters or crew in a ship, if something damages has happened to the goods, or cargo in the ship who can be via this responsibility, whether buyer or buyer, sorry, buyer or seller. So that's we study under shipping law. Company law, as I said already, the partnership, director, shareholder, winding up, insolvency, all the things study, company. And investment law, how the investment is made, and in insurance law, how we can reclaim the insurance and parties to the nature, everything we study under the commercial law. Okay, so hope you all get what we are going to be covered under business law. How business law is come to the study of law. So what are the things, the basic foundations in the law? What's the thing we are going to be studying in future under this commercial law? So now you have a full potential 
actual idea of law. Okay, so from the next class onwards, we just go forth to study every element of business law, but we are started to learn under business law and for your exam purpose. Okay, law is a very, very wider part for these five years of teaching, five years of study. I can't be pushing all the things in your mind. We just give one kind of limited syllabus. Within the limited syllabus, I just teach business law everything. So business law is a wider part. That's what I bring all the things and show these are the business law concerns. Okay. So from the next class onward, we just go for a syllabus and study on it. Hope you all get the knowledge and whether I'm not sure whether you enjoy the lectures or not. Just tell me frankly whether you understand the introductions class. I just evaluate you and me whether you understand the first introductions class. So it's something, the subject is very different from your stream, but it's a core subject. You need to be known and you need to be get the credits of this subject. So whether this introduction class, you got and having the understanding and the interesting to study the business law. Tell me the honest answer student. Have you all interested on the subject of law? Interested or boring? <laughs> tell me the honest. Guys, tell me the honest. I just take today two hours. So I just about the end. That's what I ask you. Is it interesting? Have you all enthusiastic or likes to be steady? You may think that whether we like so or not, for a credit, we have to be steady. Is, is that your thing? Yes, madam, it's interesting. Okay, good. Okay, good. So it's the evaluation student. So what's the thing is they are business law. I know that the commerce streams is totally different from law. However, for uh, things you need to be got to know the understanding of law. And it's very, very easy subject. You can be even get A. I don't know whether you A plus have that. You have a maximum potential of a result in the subject of business law. Really love, really interesting. Even you, when you pass out from the university, you, if you have some ideas, you maybe do some banking courses, banking diplomas, and like this law related things okay if you are interested to do that so just engage in the subject whether you make it whether it's something different in your stream or not just engage in the subject not only for study for the credit just engage and it gives some idea for your research purpose for your further understanding of law all the things okay i can't understand this subject i'm making this study this okay good thank you so much for your comments and it's a very basic introduction class Hope I, but I don't know why, but you expected to come today lectures, whether I'm satisfied or not, I'm not, by your uh, texts and by your things, come on, I understand somehow I satisfied your hope. Okay, so make the subject very interesting. There are a lot of subjects, very easy, but you have to be love the subject, love the method of teaching. So the responsibilities you student, even if it's by online lectures, if you need any changes or this kind of method of teaching is interesting. Or like that, if you ask the questions like that, we engage that, like that, if you make some kind of things, I'm ready to be considered that. So there are some comments I find past that, use the small languages. Definitely, I will be considered that. Okay, so lectures is for you. The credits is for you. So make the friendly nature with me. I will be helpful for your exams. Okay. So thank you so much for the first lectures. I made it today. I wish you all the best for the subject, business law. So we will be continue in the next class. Excellent. The concept in the business law. Okay. Thank you so much. And have a nice day. Any questions, student? Any questions? Any questions? If you have any questions of clarity, you can be asked. Thank you, ma'am. No questions, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much. Have a great day, guys. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you.